There are ancient fossils living off the west coast of Vancouver Island, once thought to be extinct, but they are a step closer to being protected. They are glass sponge reefs, extremely rare and extremely fragile. And to coincide with World Oceans Day, the federal government announced today that it is planning to establish new protected areas around them. Haney's Mid-Island Bureau Chief Jonathan Bartlett has more. This underwater footage taken 194 meters below the surface shows creatures seemingly from another world. When you look at those things, it's like a scene from, from Alice in Wonderland or a scene from Avatar. They are enormous concentrations of glass sponges. They cover an area of about 1,000 square kilometers, up to 25 meters in height, and are 9,000 years old. Over hundreds and thousands of years, uh, their skeletons remain there. They're uh, in an area that is good for sponge growth. Sediment tends to fill the skeleton, and then new sponges grow on top, so then they form these large reefs. These living fossils were once thought to be extinct, but in 1988, they were discovered between Vancouver Island and the Queen Charlottes in Hecate Strait. They are thought to be the only living glass sponge reefs in the world. Some of the ancient ones that were around in prehistoric times are, you know, hundreds of meters high, but they're not living. So the, the interesting thing about these ones is that in, globally, these are the only known living ones are, which are occurring here in B.C. and Washington and perhaps in Alaska. The glass sponge reefs were found within glacier plowed troughs at depths of between 140 and 240 meters, and they could soon be protected. Today in Ottawa, the Ministry of Fisheries and Oceans announced the reefs have been named an area of interest for establishing new protected areas. The AOI, the area of interest, is, is the precursor, sort of the preliminary step to forming an official MPA, or Marine Protected Area, and which is part of the government's strategy for protection of this one of the additional tools that the government has for protection of, uh, of biodiversity and ecosystems. The glass sponges are fragile. The announcement means bottom trawling would soon be banned from the area. Anything that would be bottom contact, whether it's nets or cable lane or anything where you would have an activity that would, would be in contact with the bottom will likely damage these things. And it's not just the sponges themselves that will be protected. They actually provide habitat in uh, and their own unique three-dimensional habitat and with that habitat comes a un another unique assemblage of, an of different animals that aren't seen outside that so they're especially important for uh, for shelter for feeding for all kinds of things they actually modify the currents slightly and you'll get other organisms settling in there which would, would normally settle in Nanaimo, jonathan bartlett a news